The company Color Relaxation contacted me to find out if I wanted to try one of their diamond painting kits. And I've actually been very curious about those for quite a while. They've been very popular. I've seen a lot of uh, people on YouTube playing with diamond paintings. And I've wanted to try, so I said, of course I'd like to try. But thinking that it's a very minute type of work, I asked for a, uh, a smaller size one to try it out as a beginner. And um, I chose a pretty cool looking one. What I was told is that the bigger the canvas you use, the, um, the more detailed it's going to be and the more beautiful it's going to be. But I thought it would be okay for a first time. So let's see what's in the bag. I actually haven't looked at it. So this seems to be the canvas with a bunch of little squares with letters and numbers. And I'm guessing, well, there's a color list, so it's probably the code here. All right, it's still for a small canvas. It still has a lot of tiny little squares in it. I'm not gonna remove this film here because um, I have a fling I'm not supposed to just yet. So I'm telling you, I'm, I'm discovering this as I go. I've never tried it. I'm not quite sure how that works. So we have some tools here. Looks like a little tray. I'm not sure what this little piece of plastic is for. Some tweezers. And um, I don't know, maybe this is to pick up the little gems. So while I was waiting for my package to uh, arrive, I received a few emails from Color Relaxation explaining how to do it. So I have to go back and read them to make sure that I do it properly. So here are all the little gems, I guess, or diamond painting is essentially um, some mosaic. Really, really small uh, pieces of, I'm guessing, plastic. So this, you have the reference number on the packets that you can see here. 453, right here, it's number five. Yeah, it's the background. That's probably why I have so many of those. So lots of colors. And so there's the, um, the color coding again and here are the instructions on how to use it. So I'm going to read this and get started and see how much fun that is. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Before I get started, I read all the instructions and I even looked up a couple of videos just in case and I'm glad I did because I picked up a couple of tips that were very helpful. The first one being just cut the film in the place where you want to work. Uh, don't cut it off all the way, but rather cut strips of it so that you don't lean on the sticky part because under the film it's a sticky surface. That's what you're going to stick the little diamonds to the, on the little squares. So as you remove the film, the sticky surface is exposed. So if you lean on it, then you might just put a bunch of dirt on it or it might not be as sticky anymore when it's time to put the little diamonds on it. So if you just have strips of the film to peel off at a time, then your surface stays nice and clean and remains sticky. Now there's another way you could do it, I guess, is just start if you're a righty uh, from the top right and uh, go left and down as you go, but I thought the strips was a very good idea. I wanted to start on the top left, which is the background, and that's where I saw there's a lot of the same color. 
So I looked into the little squares and found the number 5. I checked on the color list what number 5 was referring to and it gave me the number on the package. So I grabbed the package of little diamonds and I cut it open and I poured it in that little tray thing. So that tray has little lines, little separators, so when you shake it a little bit sideways, First, your little diamonds end up on the flat part, and the flat part is supposed to be put onto the sticky part of the painting, and they're all lined up so that you can uh, grab them very easily. Now that little piece of plastic is actually some wax, and it's covered by two uh, pretty thick plastic sheets to protect it. So you peel off a little corner and uh, grab the tool that is used to pick up the little diamonds and you can punch a little piece of wax out so that it's inside the tip of your tool. And you can do that on both sides of your tool because both sides are useful. And since the wax is a little tacky, then it's going to help you pick up your little diamonds. They're going to stick to your tool and then once you put it in the right place on your painting, the surface is stickier than the wax, so just drop it in the right square and it'll stay in place. Now even though it's very sticky, if you didn't put it exactly where you needed it, you can always push it around, so it's not that hard. So that's basically all you need to know. You just fill up these little squares with the little diamonds of the right color using the color list and you're good to go. Now remember I mentioned the ridges on the little tray that help the diamond line up. So the other side of the little tool, I'm sorry I don't even know what it's called, but is wider and so you can put wax in it and pick up three diamonds at a time. So for instance, my background has a lot of lines with just the same number. So I can put in three diamonds at a time and fill it in a lot faster. And there are a lot of areas in my painting that have at least three or more of the same color in a row. So I really like having the option of putting several diamonds down at a time. After a while, when you start filling in a bigger and bigger area, it's very satisfying. It looks really nice. It kind of is, to me, a cross between mosaic and the pattern kind of looks like cross-stitch. So it's kind of funny and it's just all pixelated pictures, basically. And think of a, a photo, if you have a lot of pixels, it's a larger photo, then your photo is nice and crisp and very detailed. But if it's smaller and you don't have very many pixels, then it's um, not very well defined. So that's the same idea with diamond painting. If your canvas is very small, then you will not have as many pixels and therefore your picture will not be as detailed. And if you use a, a much bigger canvas, your picture will be very, very beautiful. That said, it does take a long time to do it. So you definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of your kit because you don't finish it in five minutes. So I really didn't know what to expect. And as simple as this kit looks, it's so satisfying. I understand the hype. I really do. It's very addicting. And for this video, I must have spent almost 10 hours and I didn't even finish it yet. I still have at least a third of it to finish. And um, just sitting and listening to an audiobook and it's kind of like knitting or coloring in a coloring book or paint by numbers. It's in that category where you just... It's just very satisfying. I don't know what else to say. I enjoy it very much and I'm kind of addicted. <laughs> so if you enjoy this kind of things, uh, if you enjoy even doing puzzles or minute things like this, it's really not hard. It looks minute, but it's, it's very easy. Even kids could do it. I would recommend to give it a shot if you haven't tried yet. I'm going to put the link of this little canvas in the description box in case you're interested. And this company in particular, I'm not sure, I haven't looked up other companies, but this company in particular has so many different kinds. It's amazing. And no, I am not being paid to say that. I just got the kit for free and that's all to try it out. So anyways, I really enjoyed working on this diamond painting and I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.